right, folks. Welcome to Dragon Works once again. 1969 Honda CT90, also known as the Trail 90. And the owners had this bike for quite some time. Uh, rode it quite a bit back around his college days. And I think he rode it so much he about wore the thing out. And uh, ended up needing to have the motor rebuilt back then and i believe he told me 2007 is the last time it rode it ran and rode reliably then uh, i think back in 2017 ish uh, he and his son decided to get it out and try to get it running but never could quite get it he said he had lost spark and pretty much that was it right there that just kind of stopped him in his tracks and then fast forward to now, he finally decides it's time to revive this thing and just get it back to where, you know, it runs and rides reliably. I think he's gonna just do a quick spray can paint job on it or something. Now, I, I do have this part here, the housing that he wants me to replace. And uh, of course I gotta paint that uh, beforehand. And also we got a side cover and they're just raw plastic here. Let me show you. Uh, we got them right here. Here's the new, the new light housing and the side cover. So that's something we have to do. Now, I was just starting diagnostics on it because he dropped it off the end of the week and I told him, you know, I would go over it, find out what all it needs, get back with him. If he okays that, then I go ahead and order the parts. Uh, obviously we want to do new tires, brakes, all that kind of stuff. So I was in the middle of diagnostics when he sent me a text and said, I already bought a bunch of parts for it and I'm going to drop them off this week. <laughs> so I guess when he gets here, we'll still go over all the details, but um, yeah, I definitely was going to put tires on it, brakes, you know, things like that. But first things first, you guys know how I do it here at Dragonworks. And the same thing I explained to him. First things first, we try to figure out what we need to actually get this thing up and running. Um, so it starts and runs reliably. Then we move on to the brakes and anything like that that propels it and stops it. And then after that, we start worrying about, you know, all the other stuff on it. And uh, then lastly, cosmetics and things like that. So anyway, I started doing some diagnostics like I told you. And I thought I would go ahead and bring you along. I'm about to do a compression test on it. Um, we obviously don't have any spark. Stand by a second. Okay, so I was saying that there is, uh, there's no spark. I already figured that out. Um, he told me he lost spark back then. So it was the first thing I checked. And sure enough, there isn't any. And um, number one, these things have to have a, a good fresh battery charged up. Uh, or they will not start and run, unlike a lot of bikes. So I put that, battery didn't look too bad, but I can only assume it's pretty old. And I put that thing on the charger, it's not really responding at all. So definitely getting the battery. He may be bringing one. Um, but anyway, also if you look, it looks pretty old, crusty, corroded in there. I'm sure like a lot of these, we're gonna have a lot of bad connections that need to be cleaned up or what have you. So we will get spark on it one way or another, you know that. But yeah, she's a little, she's a little crusty. You can see, well, not too good. Most of the wires are just old, dirty and what have you. Okay, enough of that. Anyway, you get the idea. So we don't have spark. Obviously I'm gonna rebuild the carburetor and uh, let's test this compression real quick, shall we? Oh, ready? Get the plug out. I loosened it already. Get the camera set up here where you can see it. Uh, 
Okay, let's see a good way to do this. Whoop. Hold on one second. Let me move my tripod around here the right way. Now it's going to dance all over the place. Because I'm going to be kicking it, but you'll see. We'll get there. <laughs> Bear with me. All right. Throttle all the way open. Okay, I'll take that for now. So we're right at about 1.30. Hard to see there because of something on my lens. 1.30. Now, the thing, good thing about that is that's on a cold engine that has been sitting forever. So I would think that once those rings loosened up, it's probably even better than that, which is phenomenal for one of these. It, it could be 150 or so. So that's a good sign because we know we don't have any engine work. All we got to do is get some spark, which we know we can do, and some fuel, and this baby will run. <clears throat> okay, so we do have compression. What's this thing got? 4,169 original miles on it. Uh, stand by. Now he mentioned the tank was a little bit rusty and he's kind of cleaned it out a couple times. I don't know if I'll be able to get, get a shot of... Hang on a second. Switch hands here. The old switcheroo. Mm. There you go. You can kind of see above the flashlight there what we're working with. If you look down in there. Okay. So, yeah, we got some rust and some crud. Old gas in there. So, yeah, we're going to have to see about maybe getting that clean better. He said something about just running a bunch of filters. So, whatever he decides, it's up to him. Uh, I can only give them suggestions, but that should have a little attention there. Like I said, obviously tires and brakes and all that good stuff. And we'll check out all the cables and what have you. I did notice there's a seal leaking here real bad. It's going to need replaced. Might be a couple of them on this thing. But as we say, first get them up and running. And then worry about all the other stuff from that point out. For right now, until he gets over here and we go over everything and agree on the work and the money, that's going to be about it. That's all I'm authorized to do is a little diagnostics, walk around here for you. But like I said, he's already bought parts, so I don't see why we won't be uh, working on this thing here. So check back in and see what we come up with and we'll get started on it. Thanks for following along, thanks for watching.